This is um, Songtan. It's hard to see because they got all this crap in the middle there, but it's kind of like... Hmm, how do I describe it? It's kind of like um, an American or European little town. Well, of course it's... Uh, of course it's got a Korean flair to it. <laughs> um, that's a nice way to put it. But um, I have not been here for a long time. I didn't realize I'm geocaching. And I did not realize where I, where I was going. And it was this area. There's a, there's a motorcycle leather shop that I got my first motorcycle jacket at. Uh, Vaughn and Joel and Julie and I used to come here. Um, and uh, Brett. Brett and I have been here once or twice. So, um, yeah. Wow. This is like a walk down memory lane. This is this is a good place to come drinking if you're a drinker. And I remember one time, um, Brett and I walked into a bar somewhere along here, and some Korean uh, ajuma came up, and she was trying to sell us um, a Russian girl or a couple of Russian girls. And <laughs> Brett and I sat. As far as I can remember, I think we actually sat and talked with them. And I can speak Russian, so I was, you know, chit-chatting. But, um, yeah, we didn't. <laughs> that was pretty interesting. They really wanted us to buy them for the evening. That's what, that's kind of, you know, that's what this place is kind of like at night. It's just, um, <laughs> it's Sin City. As you've seen before in other videos, McDonald's delivers. Call that number. That's the type of hat I'm going to bring back to America with me to work in my garden. Custom tailoring is a really big thing here in Korea. Um, they're not very good at it. But they do do it. I've never gotten anything custom made here that didn't eventually just unravel or the buttons fall off or something. Another nice thing about this area is all the different kinds of food you can get. There's Turkish food, Thai food, American food, uh, Japanese food. It's pretty interesting. That's the Osan Air Base gate. I think that's a new gate. It looks like a new gate, kind of, doesn't it? I don't know. I can't remember. I got uh, two DNFs and one fine today. <clears throat> Not very good. Well, of course, they're all micros, and I feel really happy when I do find a micro because I'm not a very good geocacher, but almost everything here is micros. So when I do find one, I feel good about myself. Well, it's kind of a maze of little alleys. So. I remember once I came here, they had, somebody had a sale on. They were selling everything in their store for a dollar. Chunan, 1,001. <clears throat> and um, so I bought a bunch of sweaters for a dollar each. I still have some of them, too. I mean, they weren't the best sweaters in the world, but they did keep you warm in the winter. And that's all I ask. There are several little shops like this um, in, the, in the covered mall area. Uh, there's another one there, and you can sometimes buy Western goods that you can't get anywhere else. Can I speak? All right, I um I don't eat Jiffy or Skippy or whatever the peanut butter is. Uh, I eat natural peanut butter, <coughs> which they you you rarely find. 
you rarely find that in Korea. They, they don't really have natural Western food. Let me try this place. I checked another one of these places. They don't have natural peanut butter. Um, Jiffy and all that crap is not very good for you. That's why I, if I, if I really, really, really want peanut butter, I make my own. But it's a lot easier to buy it in a jar. Okay, I gotta figure out how to get back to the train station. I just got a call from the office. Michael, where are you? Um, having lunch. Oh, I'm going to hell. Lying. I would have had lunch if there was any vegetarian place to eat. I didn't see anything. And, oh, this, this is all caters to um, Americans, Westerners, so there's no vegetarian here. There it is. There's a train station. All right.